Hey guys, it's Bex from Reading and Writing Redhead, and I want to give you a little walkthrough of the digital home reading logs. So these are great if your students have their own Google School accounts because you can share it with them via Google Classroom, share a QR code, a link, whatever you like, um, and then there's no paper involved, no need to worry about passing out reading logs, collecting them, you can look at them digitally through your own Google Classroom or Drive. So when you um, first download it from TPT, you'll make a copy, open it up, and this info will be here for you. And also this note here. So what I would do is there are five different reading log um, types. I'll show you in a second. And I would pick the best one for your class and delete the extras. Then I'll give you another tip about that in a second. Let's put this in present mode so you can see it better. So this is reading log set one, and each of them have a checklist, so you can see what this includes. So this is all days of the week, includes the book title, how many minutes the kids read but does not have a spot for a written response. So when they're in Google Drive, I just tried to point with my finger. Let me use this instead. So the days of the week are filled in. You know, you can set your own guidelines with them if you don't expect them to read every day, just tell them. And when they are in the slide, they can click and type. So we've got three different kinds of borders that are black and white. And then we have blue, green, purple, and pink. So your students can pick their favorite. Reading log set two does not include the weekends, but you um, do have the book title and minutes read and no response. So a little less, less text there. So we're gonna go through these a little quicker now that you get the gist. So reading log set three doesn't involve the days of the week. I'll show you what it looks like in a sec. They only have to type in the book title and minutes read. Okay, so this one has just numbers down the side. So you can have your kids do this for a week. Or I included enough numbered options for a whole month. And if you do 31 days and you expect them to read every day, you can add that and there are extras just in case. Okay, so this takes a little bit longer to go through because each variation has three pages. There we go. Okay, so this is reading log set five, it has every day of the week and it has room for kids to write a response, the book title, minutes read. None of them include author. If you feel that's important, feel free to send me an email and maybe I can add a variation for you. So this one is several pages long for each variation because um, kids have to type their response here. Okay, so book title, minutes read, and response. Okay, so something important to keep in mind though, I'm not gonna show you every single one of those. Let's exit out of the show. Is, okay, especially on these reading logs at the top, which are only one page long you're gonna want your students to make some extra copies for themselves, okay? So, for example, let me rewind a little. If you're gonna choose set one for your kids, what I would do is go down here, click and delete all the other ones, okay? All the other sets so they don't get confused. Then you can either choose for the students which border they'll use or you can let them pick. So let's say a kid's going to pick this one, okay? So you're gonna to wanna to click and delete or right click and cut the extra ones or tell them and show them how to do it. But you do want to have them make copies. You want to right click and duplicate slide or copy. And I would make have them make either enough for a whole month or a couple months or even the whole year. You can tell them, hey, make 35 copies of this weekly reading log. So you need, so you can tell them, hey, when you're done, I expect you to have 37 pages um, in here. So your information, you can actually delete that. Actually, never mind that. So delete that before you share with the kids, and tell them, hey, I want you to have five pages. So this heading, or delete that, and you know, the reading logs. Okay, so also one last tip is the undo button. Please keep that always in mind when kids raise their hand or say I had a problem. 
Don't forget to tell them about the undo button. And if you're using this as a home reading log, not an in-class reading log, make sure you let parents know about the very important magic undo button so they can prompt their kids. All right, I hope that helped. If you have questions, please let me know. Bye.